Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I'm Linda Sofi Juliasti I would like to present my journal on an analysis of educational values in Mahfudat or Arabic proverbs So there are five discussions Firstly, abstract This paper provides an overview and analysis of the Mahfuzat book by Turas Pustaka and focusing on two proverbs by Imam Shafi'i. It explores the educational values embedded in these proverbs. Secondly, introduction. The research on educational values has gained attention from academics and Arabic being the native language in Arab countries and has a complex grammatical structure. Arabic proverb holds cultural importance and is taught in Islamic educational institution as like boarding school. Research method The study employs a library research method combined with a descriptive qualitative approach to investigate their research objectives. Based on this analysis, the researcher analyzes the data scientifically and comprehensively regarding the content of the mahfudat and educational values contained in two poems by Imam al-Shafi'i. Findings and Discussion The result of this research is the general description of the mahfudat book by Turas Pustaka was first published in 2014 of Masahi and has been printed several times as the bestseller category, including hadith, proverbs, and athar, or the private companion saying, verses of wisdom and ulama advices. The core of the discussion of this book consists of three chapters. The first chapter discusses the Mahfudat Dictionary. The second chapter consists of verses from the Quran, Hadith, and the Poetic Verses of Wisdom, accompanied by Mahfudat Temp titles. And the third chapter includes ulama advices, such as Imam Shafi'i, Ali bin Abi Talib, etc., making it easier to search using their names. The researcher selected two proverbs from chapter 3, created by Imam Ash-Shafi'i, and both of these proverbs are quite well known among the community. Let's move to the first Arabic proverbs, that is about abstaining from sins. Imam Shafi'i said, I complained to Ati about my poor memory. He guided me to abstain from sins. He informed me that knowledge is a light and the light of Allah is not bestowed upon a sinner. From the first proverb, the researcher found several educational values. The first is humility. The proverb exemplifies the significance of humility and recognizing one's shortcomings and seeking guidance, as like Imam Shafi'i complains to his teacher about his poor memory. The second is pursuit of knowledge. This proverb emphasizes the importance of seeking knowledge as an obligation for all Muslims. The third is abstaining from sins. The fourth is awareness of ignorance and arrogance. And the last is inspiration for learning. Then let's move to the second proverb. It's about acquiring knowledge. Imam Shafi'i said, Knowledge is a hand, and writing is its constraint. Restrain your hand with secure ropes. It is foolishness to capture a gazelle and leave it among creatures unbound. The researcher found five educational values. The hand for knowledge, writing is restrained, securing knowledge with ropes, avoiding foolishness, and continual learning. Conclusion Overall, both proverbs by Imam Shafi'i have highly positive educational value for humanity, particularly for Muslims, both men and women, to seek knowledge as a religious duty. Okay guys, maybe that's all my presentation, so sorry for my faults, contact me and thank you for watching, bye!